Hi, I'm Kip Wilder, Associate Artistic Director here at City Lights Theatre Company, uh, sitting on the set of uh, The Last Days of Judas Iscariot by Stephen Andy Girgis. Uh, we open in a week and a half, and uh, you need to come and see it. The Last Days of Judas Iscariot is, as you might uh, expect, about religious figures and iconography. Uh, issues that have been argued about, bandied about, and written about for over 2,000 years. And it is anything but what you might expect. We're sitting in purgatory, or more specifically, a courtroom uh, in purgatory. And uh, two lawyers uh, enter the courtroom before Judge Littlefield, who sits up there, and are prosecuting the case against Judas Iscariot who, as we all know, is one of, uh, one of the baddest of the bad guy figures in history, the betrayer, betrayer of Jesus. Uh, and this play is the story of his imaginary trial before uh, the judge in purgatory. And uh, what's fun and surprising about this play is that it looks at all of the issues surrounding Judas and the betrayal and religious dogma uh, from every possible point of view, just when you think you're being you're being tossed the um, uh, the right point of view, the next point of view is presented, and it is just as right, which is really exciting, and I think it's going to make our audiences think about it as well, and that's important. Last days of Judas Iscariot take the best of Perry Mason, the best of Law and Order, and add Sigmund Freud, Mother Teresa, uh, the Saints, uh, the Gospels, Judas, Jesus, Henrietta Iscariot, Judas's mother. Uh, who all come and testify at the trial of Judas. Uh, and, uh, there has never been a courtroom drama quite like this one. <laughs>